The Oklahoma City Barons rode a fast start to a 4-1 victory over the Abbotsford Heat here at the Cox Convention Center in downtown Oklahoma City on Friday night. It was a, it was a more complete game than what we've seen over the last five games. And um, so it was a total team effort. I like the fact that we spread the scoring around. And, uh, you know, like that's, that's something that we have to do consist consistently night and night out. Um, we just have to make sure that we get everybody tugging on the rope, and tonight we did. Both Ryan Keller and Tanner House had two points apiece in the win, and both were very pleased with their performance. I think, you know, as a group, we, we played well. It was the, uh, we set the tone maybe in the first period there. We, we chipped pucks and got pucks behind them and really used our speed, kind of got them on their heels, and uh, I think that was a big, uh, you know, big reason to the game tonight. The last few games, I, I noticed myself getting a few more chances, a few more shots, so it's only a matter of time. Um, you know, Granter made a great play behind the net, and, uh, you know, I was fortunate for it to go in and kind of got lucky. It was a big win for the Oklahoma City Barons, who were tied atop the Western Division standings with the Abbotsford Heat going into tonight's contest. So let's get to the highlights. After rookie Tyler Pitlick scores to give OKC the 1-0 lead, Philippe Cornet does what he's done all season long. Keller to Cornet in the slot, who dekes right, then left, then shoots under the pad of Irving for the goal. Cornet came into the night tied for the league lead in goals with 11. His 12th was a beauty. Things get chippy late in the first period. Kirill Tulipov and Lance Boma go at it. Tulipov gets a game misconduct for not having his fight strap attached. John Rowe will score for Abbotsford on a partial breakaway in the second period, but by this point, it's 3-1 Barons. Fast forward to the third and final frame. Assistant Captain Ryan Keller will find Twine unassisted at 5.57 of the third period. 4-1 Barons is the score and OKC will move to 12-4-0-1. OKC moved to 3-0 on the season against the Abbotsford Heat, and these two teams square off again tomorrow at 7.05 p.m. Doors will open at 6.05. For OKCBarons.com and Barons Beat, I'm Chris Westcott.